let's let's get back to our my what yeah. does Kissinger have to do with Klaus Schwab? That's and, my and question. the whole great reset. Yeah. So I think um, I, I, I reference quite often what Henry Kissinger said, which was uh, maybe a, a warning to the world, but I think it was more of a of a call to arms on their side. So he said, if you control the food, you control the people. If you control the energy, you control the continent. If you control the money, you control the world. And then, well, let's let's back up. It's a lot of people don't know who Kissinger was. Oh, he's still around. He's still alive. He's still right? alive. Yeah, he's still alive. Who he's, was he? He's pretty old. Well, he's, he's Secretary of State, right? For Nixon. Yeah. So he, you he know, opened the door to China. Opened the door to China, but also, you know, uh, instrumental throughout Europe as well. Um, during that time of the, you know, coming out of the World War II, kind of redrawing the world and, and setting peace and stuff like that. Um, so he was very influential, and he still is today, right? He's, and he was teaching at was it MIT or Yale or one of the big college, one of the big universities is where Klaus Schwab. That, met him and studied under him. That's right. That's right. So Klaus Schwab studied under him. I, I forget which university it was, but um, yeah, he studied under him. And so he's carried on the same, the philosophy. the same philosophies. Yeah. And I think, uh, you know, people say, oh, you're drawing, you're, 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 you're cherry picking data. Well, really like what are the attack vectors today? So food, <laughs> we're running out of food the, per the UN. They say 800, I think it's 868 million people could starve to death in the next 24 months. 